This is John Black, Super Chemist. This is not an instructional video. It is just a vlog showing a video account of some chemistry experiments I have done or am learning about. I do not go over all safety concerns, so if you repeat anything in the video, you do it at your own risk. Yeah, I lost the footage, but the stuff I had in this jar from the couple batches I did, I put in the free freezer. And remember, I was trying to get rid of the little bit of water that was in here. I put it in the freezer. Then I took both of these, and I put it into this funnel. I used some vacuum filtration. I scraped everything off into this single thing here. I put cellophane over it really quickly because you'll get, you know, water will it'll absorb water big time. Now I'm going to take this little bit of water that brought through. I'm going to put it in the freezer and try and get another batch. Okay, yeah, I didn't get much out, but there's a little bit there, so we're going to filter it. Alright, so I'm going to add that to my I'm going to see if I can do something with that water. Okay, so I finally got my vacuum pump out. And got it working right. And I just got a little bit, a couple of mils of water. I put it on a strong vacuum. I got my strong vacuum pump out. And as you can see, it's pretty much got the last little bit out now. So that's all I can do now. That's the best I can do. Now... We need to purify it, what we got. Okay. Now, I want to get this. You know, my methylamine, right? All that stuff I got. And put it in with this. And then put the vacuum back on. See, this is set up for a distillation. Got my vacuum on it, and uh, I'm just going to put a vacuum on it and try and get as much water. I want it to be as dry as that, all of this dry. Now it's not 100% dry in there, but it's taking forever. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on to the next step, which is to try to get the dimethylamine out of there. And the way I'm going to do that is, you can see it. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is I have some cold chloroform here, and I'm just going to put enough in to cover it up. You see, there's just enough to try to get the sides. Now I'll get something to poke it with and kind of stir it up a little bit. And then I'll filter that. Alright, so it's been sitting here about five minutes. I'm going to I might even throw a couple of mils in there just to clean that out a little bit. Well, I got everything back into the flask, and basically I'm set up again for distillation. Um, I got the vacuum pump, and I'm basically just going to put this on a hot water bath right over here. And I'm going to put it on a vacuum and just let it dry, as dry as I can get it. Now, if you remember the last thing I did with my ammonium chloride was wash it with some... Uh, ethanol 
this is that ethanol. There's about 40 milliliters in there. Um, I've been putting this under a vacuum and some heat. It's, it's a little dry, but it's actually still a little wet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that ethanol in there. That 40 mils. And I'm going to put a second 40 mils. I'm going to put a 30, I mean a third 40 mils. And I'm going to put a fourth 40 mils. It's about 160 mils total. Basically what I'm trying to do is so what's left here is the methylamine and the uh, ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride is, is not that sol soluble in ethanol, although it is soluble a little bit. Um, but methylamine, you know, the salt, is uh, very soluble in hot ethanol. So, like I said, i got to go to sleep, so we'll let this dissolve. But tomorrow we're going to heat this up and reflux it so that we can get our product to dissolve in it and leave the ammonium chloride left as a solid. Then we can filter it out. Well, I just wanted to go over a couple of things. One is that, uh, you know, I took forever doing this experiment. I mean, like four or five days, man. And that's not good. <clears throat> Uh, you know what I mean? You're giving your product time to react and change into something else. And that's not good. But the second thing is, is that the pot cannot be put over 100 degrees Celsius when you're distilling your stuff out. And I had to put actually at 120 sometime. Not the pot itself, like the stuff inside, but the bottom of the pot. And you should really have even heating. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, when, they, when I say you shouldn't have the pot over 100C, that means the whole pot, not just most of it. Um, and it, I didn't have a vacuum pump that was working properly at the time, although I do now. <clears throat> so, I'm going to redo this experiment off camera, where I don't have to deal with anything. And you figure this is the first time I tried this, I didn't know what to expect. Now I at least have an idea of what to expect and what's going on with this reaction. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm going to do it off camera. And if I get a better yield, I want to redo this video. Even if I don't get a better yield, I might redo this video. And just compact it. So that it's all compact into one video. There's no information in it except how to do it. You know, just instructions. You know, you put this together with that. You heat it up. You know what I mean? <clears throat> no extra information uh, so that it's more condensed. Uh, four videos, that's outrageous. But I think those that's the two biggest problems I had was I overheated the pot on several occasions and I took forever. Um, I can fix the forever part by just having the uh, vacuum pump that I bought. And the other thing is I, I'm, I'm going to do an oil pot. I'm going to do oil heating instead of a instead of using a flame. Let's see if that helps. Okay, so I'm not going to show this on camera because it's just going to the camera's just going to be in my way. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I got my product in there, right? With my ethanol. I had a hot water bath here. I got just regular anhydrous ethanol in here and I got hot water here I'm going to heat this up just to, between 60 and 80 I got the Vigorex column on here so it won't you know reflux away and uh, I just wanted it hot so it doesn't uh, you know I don't want a cold putting it on hot glass because this I'm going to boil the ethanol in there right and you know, every once in a while I'm going to swirl, I'm going to take this off of here with gloves and swirl it around so that it gets nice and dissolved. I want to dissolve my product. 
when I think it's all dissolved, the memoir is going to dissolve. I have in this oven preheated. I have a round bottom flask and a frit funnel that I can put my vacuum on. And I also have, what else do I have? Oh, a beaker. And I'm going to have my methylamine will be dissolved, right? And the ammonium chloride will be a solid. So I'll take it off immediately, pour it into my hot frit funnel, put, put a, little, a little suction on it, and uh, now, in case I can't get all the, you know, I want to clean this out a little bit more, I can add a couple drops, maybe 10 mils of hot uh, ethanol from here, right? Slosh it around, and then I can wash, you know, put it in my foot funnel and wash the, the solids or whatever. Um, and when I get done with that, I will have ethanol with pure methylamine dissolved in it. And it will be all my product. All I have to do is cool it down and, and let it recrystallize. Okay, so this is the ammonium chloride that I filled it out. You can see it's uh, still wet, but it's somewhat dry. Um, it's probably half of what was there in the first place. So this is probably how much methylamine hydrochloride I'll make, which is not much. But who knows? We'll never know until we're done. Uh, but I can put this with the other ammonium chloride that I made. You can see it's nice and white. Now here, this is the ethanol. There's, all, there's about 185 milliliters here. You can see stuff is already pre-sipping out. So we do have something. Uh, and it's still warm. Let's see the temp. Uh, well, it's only at 40, 41 Celsius. Uh, but we're going to take it all the way down to zero. So a lot more will precip out. Uh, but for right now, that's it right there. So once I get this chilled down and I get ready to filter it, I'll get back with you. Look at this. This is the chlorophyll form that we cleaned the methylamine with. You can see it's cloudy as heck. There's a lot of precip. There's a lot still dissolved in there too, you know what I mean? So we're going to distill off this chloroform and see what exactly is left that is dimethylamine. But I distilled everything off. You can see it's, it's nice and white. That's dimethylamine. Uh, just a tiny little little bit there maybe uh, two grams a gram maybe two grams I guess uh, that's a lot less than I thought was in there I thought I'd be making a lot more because it took me so long uh, that, this actually isn't that bad this little bit right here Jeez, I can handle that uh, so next time if it's even less than this that's almost non-existent remember we Cleaned the chloroform. We cleaned our ammonium chloride with chloroform and distilled the chloroform off of that, and there was like nothing in that. So this is like all the dimethylamine we made. I don't know if I should say that or not. It's not very much to do anything with. Maybe I could use it as a, I don't know, catalyst in something. Anyway, Asians, I'll have a great day, and always remember, science is great.